you must have seen that sometime you are accessing some legitimate site to to download some software but once you click on the link it gets redirected to some other link from there some um, video player some opera mini you see browser something else is going to get downloaded right those some some malicious things uh, malicious website you get re redirected right that that kind of attack we call cross site scripting attack that you call as cross site scripting maybe any website is infected with cross site scripting attack if your website is vulnerable attacker may inject some java script some malicious script on the website which you see the pop up sometimes you see the pop up right green color kind of thing pop up download 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 this is not something which is being published by the website owner there is something that website was vulnerable and it is done by and it is a kind of script which is injected by the attacker and when you click on that link something will get downloaded or uh, maybe your uh, uh, you know connection will, re will redirect to some other website from there something will get downloaded get what i mean that is actually not published by the website owner that is something which has been injected by the attacker that kind of attack we call as, we call as cross site scripting attack in the cross site scripting attack website there is no harm for the website the only thing is users may get redirected and along with that user cookies catch a cookies where cookies is the uh, something where your credentials are being stored the cookies you understand right cookies you remember you ask your browser to remember your credentials yeah okay? get what i mean remember your sessions to remember your session for example uh, whenever i open my browser i type gmail and automatically I, i i get access to gmail i need not to log in again and again because i am already logged in yes or no my session id session information is stored on the cookies understand in the browser there is something called as cookies so i need not to log in again and again because my credential my session information is stored on the cookies so no need to log in once you access facebook.com facebook understand the connection is coming from same user and it will logged in with your account no need to log in get what i mean your information is being stored on the cookies so what happens is if you enter such website so uh, infected website what will happen is maybe uh, you may end up downloading some uh, malicious software or attacker may hijack your session that means attacker will compromise your cookies information cookies whenever you access some website it ask you uh, this website will store the cookies are you yes click on yes or no cookies means your session information next time onward once you log in your session information will be stored on the browser understand so what happens is attacker in such kind of attack attacker compromise your cookies that means attacker will steal the cookies information and same cookies see you know what happens for example i logged in through my browser right google chrome from this system now this system i can log in because i logged in before only so my credential my session information has been stored on the cookies for example just a trick i'm telling you just a trick i'm telling you now you forgot password one thing is you can go on the uh, saved password option but some sometime it might not be saved there also but it has been saved on cookies get what i mean you forgot the password now but you have to log in you want to use some other system you want to log in to some other system what you can do is you can export the cookies from your system and you can place to another system without login you'll be able to login using other system as well understand because the cookies information you have exported and put on the other system is this something we call as cookies where your session information is being stored understand so there might be sometime you see the pop up right that is actually a cross site scripting cross site is what you know what happens in the various website you see some login pages some some uh, you know inquiry for example in a sim expert website you see the inquiry information right in some of the website you see the comment section comment section where people can comment and comment will be uh, populated and published in the website yes or no means whatever you comment it will publish in the website some of the website are not doing the sanity check see uh, whenever i enter i should enter text information only on those form 
if anybody entered some code some script the website should not allow means website should do the sanity checks validation of the user input then only it should publish now i am explaining what is cross site scripting attack what is cross site scripting attack in the cross site scripting attack what happens is there are various website which allow users to input to comment yes or no once you enter the comment it will publish on the website yes or no whatever you comment so in the comment section the the input should be a text input only it should not be a, a script it should not be a code yes or no if anybody enter the code it should not publish that means your website should do the validation sanity checks that this user is actually, is actually not entering text he is entering a script so should not publish it but website which is vulnerable vulnerable means having weaknesses they are not doing the validation yes or no they are not doing the validation of user inputs and whatever user entered either text they will publish a comment and some script also they will publish get away if any website not doing this sanity check that means validation of user input that means that website is vulnerable for cross site scripting attack instead of entering the text value user can enter javascript yes or no link of some other website javascript which will be published on the website because website is not checking what information has been entered and should not publish its script that means that whole website is vulnerable for cross site scripting attack right website now website owner has not published it somebody else using the comment section has injected some javascript now it has been published on the website download video downloader uc browser whatever you are downloading uh, means most of the time some some famous software that you are downloading it will give the pop up download this but once you click on there is something else has been downloaded yes or no and you realize that is not a software that you are looking for sometime you will get redirected to some other website and and that uh, that uh, attack has the capability to hijack your cookies also that is very dangerous cross site scripting one of the top one of the top uh, attack for the web application this attack happen on the web application only website only yes or no so as a preventive preventive me measure our website should be enabled for validation means before publishing the user input the website should validate should do the sanity checks then only should publish understand that kind of attack we for us cross site scripting scripting cross site scripting attack xss cross site scripting attack cross site scripting attack is being initiated for the web is being initiated for the web application it's one of the web application attack where user inject the javascript on any of the website which has option to enter the user input some comment options right so there user can uh, attacker can misuse and inject a javascript yes or no and resulting user may redirect to some other website attacker may populate some phishing link or some malicious software link to download as well as attacker can hijack your cookie in, cookies information understand and as a, as a uh, preventive uh, preventive action in our website we should enable the sanity check validation of user input understand clear so uh, that is what i'm saying that some website maybe some website legmit some legmit website you are accessing some phishing website link is there you get redirected and something has been downloaded even user have access the right website only but may website was vulnerable and resulting you have been redirected some phishing link so we should safeguard right our network our users that if they redirected those phishing link the link should be blocked should not be accessible yes or no as well as if they open any malicious link phishing link the link should be blocked so that our user will information and user uh, will be safe otherwise user may enter some critical confidential information or they may download some malicious softwares from those 
uh, malware or phishing links. Understand? So even though you can see, even though we have the firewall, we have the email gateway, we have the WAF, right? It's still our network is not secure. Maybe any user can access a malicious website from where something has been downloaded or they can upload some confidential information. Understand? Clear this? So we can say that still we are not secure. So we should have some kind of solution using which we can regulate the internal access so that malicious website should not be accessible, should be blocked. Yes or no? Any malicious link, something, sometimes you download it to, sometimes you have been redirected to, some, sometime you have been redirected to some malicious link and whenever you redirected, the link should be blocked. Yes or no? Should not be accessible because it's a malicious user may end up entering some critical information or downloading some malicious software, malwares. Isn't it? So we need some kind of solution so that it can filter out what website our user can access and those malicious website, facing website should not be accessible to any of the users. Yes or no? So what solution we should use here? What solution we should use? Proxy. We should use proxy. Proxy solution, right? 